Hey guys, it's Jolene and welcome back to my channel. As I was looking through the comments of my closet tour video, I saw a lot of suggestions for a haul, which is something I would love to do. So here is my May haul and blogger mail. First off, I got this dress was sent to me from Flynn Sky. It is really cute because it's a floral maxi. It kind of reminds me of Reformation dresses and it has a cutout in the back and then it has a front slit. This is the other Flynn Sky dress they sent. I really like the China plate inspired print and it's really low in the back. I'm wearing this in one of my previous videos uh, so I'll link to that and you can see it in my spring summer and dresses video. This is from Front Row Shop. It's just an organza sheer boxy top. It's pretty oversized. It's only one size, but I really love it. I chose to wear this with a bralette and tucked into high waist pants, but you can really wear it a multitude of ways. I was sent this, I think, from Shop Click. They are new. I picked out a package. Um, I wasn't sure what they were going to send, but they included this, and I really like it. It's basically just like a military jacket your military inspired jacket. It's not long enough to be an anorak, but it kind of has that appearance. You can wear it over dresses to make it more casual or with high waist pants and a crop top. You can really do whatever you want, but, and it's multi-seasonal. I would wear it in any season. One of my favorite blogger mail to receive is Misguided because they hook it up. This is from their new Genealogy line. They have different cuts and styles and washes to fit any person. So I got these. They are the High Waist Acid Wash. Um, I forgot the exact name, but I'll link it in the comments. And I love these because they are really tight on the legs, but there's also room to stretch at the waist. So there's no problem when you're eating. That's the main reason why I would choose these over the American Apparel Easy Jean because they both have similar fits and are slightly stretchy, but the American Apparel waistline is not forgiving. If you're planning to go out and eat, I wouldn't wear the American Apparel ones, but these ones, they definitely stretch with you. So I really love these ones. They're a staple jeans of mine. And the other pair of jeans I received from their Genealogy line are the Lana pairs. They are also slightly stretchy um, and they're not as high waist. So I picked these so I could wear them with blouses and just tuck in the front without having a huge lump in the front um, with really high waist jeans. So they're also really cute to like tuck in a t-shirt too. The tops I picked from Misguided this one, because it has that really high neckline, and the spaghetti straps are actually elastic cords, which I thought was awesome. Oh, here's my best haul. He's coming right now, this month. I adopted a new baby. <laughs> this is Tobias. <laughs> so Toothless was more of a daddy's boy, and he stays with Chris. So I adopted my own little baby. He is three months old and he's a Pomeranian mix. I'm not sure what the other mix is. He's my little baby. Yeah, he was napping and now he's up. I think he's just gonna plop down right here on top of all my clothes, which is okay with me. And I'm kind of going crazy with doggy supplies, shampoos and products. If you guys are interested in that, I don't know if you are, but let me know and I can show you what kind of puppy products I get. And the other top I got from Misguided this mesh one. Uh, I tried to get the biggest size available because I wanted it really oversized. It wasn't as oversized as I expected it to be, but I ended up really liking it. So I stopped by Brandy Melville, which I always happen to do after getting lemonade because there's one right next to it. So this is my second Jada dress. It's kind of bad, but I know everyone has it, but it's so versatile and it's so comfy. I'm glad I waited to get this one because it is the thicker cotton, it's not sheer, and you can totally layer it with anything. If you're really lazy, it's a perfect dress to just throw on and still look somewhat put together, and there's just a million ways you can style it. I'm not sure what this dress is called, but it's always there. This circle dress. So I finally got it just to see if I'd like it, and I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time, and I think it looks really good layered with a collared blouse underneath. And I got this top. I forgot what it's called, but I'll reference it in the description below. There's just so many layering options with this, and again, I love the neckline. One of my favorites is one of the graduation presents I bought for myself. 
Celine Sunnies. These are the Papillion Sunnies and they're perfect because I was seriously waiting for a really good staple cat eye to have because I kept buying cat eye sunglasses and they kept breaking. These sunglasses were sent to me by Daddy Longleg. She even threw in the strap, which I really liked when I was picking them out, but I didn't want to ask for too much, but she sent them anyway, so I'm really glad. But of course, they're vintage inspired with these beads. But they're not great for driving because if you look down, then you're not going to be able to see the car in front of you or if anyone's walking. For every other occasion, they're perfect. Next up is for Love and Lemon's bralette. I think it's the La Fleur bra. This one's a little more risque but it, it'll be really cute layered over things or just to lounge around in the house and look cute for yourself. So that's who matters, right? Okay. I got these on sale at Urban. They are BDG bell bottoms. They're super cute. They're really high, but they're really long. And my legs are kind of long for my body in proportion and they're still long on me. So I'm hoping to put it in through the wash and hopefully it'll get shorter. I'm saving them to wear to Born Free, which is a motorcycle show. I'm excited to wear this with like a band tee or a moto tee, maybe with like a halter or like a shredded tee, shredded crop top. Here are some of my favorite Wild Fox goodies that Can You Not has. This unicorn tee, of course. All their fabrics are super soft. They've even patented their own because they have their own blend that's really soft and keeps you cool during the summer. And their pieces are really easy to wear. For any occasion. And this Les Lunas tee, you can just tuck them into any bottom. This super soft fuzzy baggy beach jumper. This one is one of my favorites because I can totally relate to the saying on the front. As the name of the piece says, it's a baggy beach jumper, so it's perfect for the beach, perfect for summer, and you can layer it for any season too. My last favorite Wild Fox piece is this super cute romper. I kind of have an affinity for rompers and bodysuits because they're really easy to wear and they're super comfy. And because you guys are awesome, I'll include a 30% off all Wild Fox at Can You Not. Just check out the description for the code. Last but definitely not least, just because you've seen it, it so many times in my videos. This eyeball dress that Chewy sent me. It's a pretty exact dupe of the Zara dress, which apparently is a dupe of Kenzo. So three styles along the line is this one. It has a slight turtleneck and a sleeveless. The silhouette is pretty modish and it's just, I don't know, it's amazing. Lately, I picked up quite a number of swimsuits, so I'm gonna reserve those for their own haul. So just stay tuned for that coming up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd also love to know which one is your favorite piece, so let me know in the comments. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my blog. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.